ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the afternoon weather extreme video. This is for Thursday, the fifth day of June. Hot and dry today, hot and dry tomorrow. Hot and dry over the weekend. You probably know what we're going to say here. Let's go to some Skycam shots today. Mostly sunny on uh, Mount Chihaw. Beautiful view there coming from the top of the restaurant. Alabama's highest mountain just south of Anniston. Elevation up there at the peak is 2,407 feet. Uh, pretty much the same sky on the western side of the state. That's the view from Tuscaloosa looking off to the east from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Down below you can see the construction for that new federal courthouse going up in uh, downtown Tuscaloosa. And from downtown Birmingham, the sky looks almost identical. That's the view there looking north from the top of the Daniel Building. On the water vapor satellite imagery, whopper of a trough coming out of the Rockies, and that's going to create a, a variety of problems for uh, parts of the Rockies and the Plain States. Here's a look at our big watch warning map, and yep, those are winter storm and snow advisories for the Rockies. And of course, in the warm sector, big, big severe weather problems for the rest of today and tonight from Oklahoma on north, and a lot of wind advisories out there as well. Uh, how about that? A high risk of severe weather uh, for parts of Kansas, Nebraska, and Iowa. Surrounding that, a moderate risk from near Oklahoma City up to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and a slight risk all the way from Childress, Texas, up to the Canadian border. And there's a look at the tornado probabilities. That is the chance of a tornado passing within 25 miles of any given point. And uh, a 30% probability of that is extremely high, considering how small tornadoes are, but that's the peak value there over Nebraska. And obviously it's going to be a long day and a long night for our friends up through there. Uh, the day two convective outlook, a moderate risk for places like St. Louis and Chicago and Indianapolis. And surrounding that, a slight risk all the way from the Red River back up to the Great Lakes. And on day three, Saturday, a severe weather risk again for that same general area, the upper Midwest. And there's a look at our first tornado watch of the day. That is a, a PDS watch, particularly dangerous situation. And uh, storms developing nicely in Kansas already. Uh, rain, a uh, bunch of it up north. Uh, in that uh, zone where the strongest severe storms are expected, three to five inches there. Hardly any around here. Just a sliver of green on the eastern side of the state. And this is valid through uh, Tuesday morning of next week. Modeling, this is the 12Z GFS, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow. 594, look at the heights rising. Oh, that means hot weather and the bone-crushing subsidence and the associated warm air aloft should keep us high and dry as that uh, strong shortwave rotates north of here. Saturday, we are still under a 594 circle, hot and dry. Sunday, heights come down a little bit, but not much. Still hot and dry. Monday of next week. A little short wave again passing north of here, but still the prospects of a big rain with that pattern look awfully small. Tuesday, the westerlies are up north, but underneath that we do note that uh, there's evidence of maybe a few widely scattered showers. And then Wednesday of next week, another big trough out west down below, maybe a few scattered showers or storms. It certainly doesn't suggest a whole big, a big rain event. And then Thursday, a week from today, Really the same thing, ridging going on here. So uh, out to seven days, prospects of a big rain not looking good. Three more days. Uh, this is June 15th. Westerlies are up north. A little weakness in the ridge, mainly west of here. But you can see kind of a dying cold front trying to come in here with pretty juicy air mass. So at least maybe a better chance of showers and storms. And at the end of the cycle, a nice trough over the east. The ridge is out west where they've had the snow. They'll have the hottest weather. And if that's right, we could see some fairly uh, decent showers and thunderstorms out there. So we still think the trend toward mid-month will be for heat levels to decrease and shower chances to gradually increase. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.